Greetings, greetings, my brothers and sisters. I want to thank God for this opportunity that he has given us to meet again. It is important that as we set aside time to do many things that we think are important, it is important that we also set aside time to do the will of God. We set aside time to listen to the word of God, to talk to God. We have time to brush our teeth. We have time to bathe. We have time to cook. We have time to eat. We have even time to relax and watch TV. We have time to walk around luxury. Surely we can create time for God. And I want to thank you so much for creating this time to listen to the word of God. Let's pray. Father in heaven, may your word be clear, simple, and straightforward for all of us to understand. It's in the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. The message I would like to share with you, my friends, is titled, This is Real Help. Take it. This is Real Help. Take it. You see, friends, we all need help. We always need help because no man is an island entire of himself. We will always be in need of help. We will always need somebody to assist us. We, we will need help. We cannot pretend that we don't need help. Even the richest among us needs help. You know, somebody even wrote in one of these WhatsApp forwards that even the richest among us cannot carry their own coffin to the grave. They will need help. So we need help. And now the message today says that this is real help. Take it. This is real help. Take it. You see, friends, why do we say real? It's because we live in a world where not many things are real. There are so many fake products. There are so many fake people. There are so many fake promises until sometimes you wonder, where is real help? Where is the real thing? Where is the real promise? I'm here to tell you that this is real help. Take it. This is real help. You take it. This is real help take it. We live in a time, friends, when, where there are too many promises, but few of them are real. This is real help. Please take it. Many people are fake, but this is real help. Please take it. Many people are con men and con women, but this is real help. Please take it. When you get real help, you don't waste time. You take it. When you have an opportunity, you jump on it and take advantage. This is real help, my friends. Take it. This is real. There are so many helps that are not real, that are fake, that are unreliable, but this is real. Please take it. This is real help. Please take it. And when somebody says, please take it, you are being pleaded with. You have suffered in the past. You have struggled in the past. A time has come in the past when you suffered for thinking you have found help when you had found none. Now, this is real help. Please take it. Please take it. When you get real help, you don't waste time. You take it. Don't we need real help? Listen, my brothers and sisters. Help from God is availed to us through the indwelling Holy Spirit. Did you hear that? That help from God is availed to us through the indwelling Holy Spirit. I will re repeat again. That help from God is availed to us through the indwelling Holy Spirit. That when God wanted to help us, when God decided that we need help, God did not say, just call this number. God said that I will be present in your life through God, the Holy Spirit. That when people need help in a location where there is insecurity, the police build a police station in that location. So that they don't have to come from very far to help the people. They help them right there where they are. And when God realized that we are in need of help, help that only God can give, God availed that help through the power of the Holy Spirit. And so through the power of the Holy Spirit, you and me have access to the power of God. And it is the Holy Spirit who comes to give us help. Jesus introduced the Holy Spirit as a helper. And that's why the word of God comes to you today, wherever you are in this situation as you listen, that this is real help. Take it.
This is real help where god has offered himself to you to help you this is real it cannot get more real than this is this is real help you take it my brothers and sisters if you really need help if the president can help you and is available would you refuse and say, I want to talk to your ministers or I want to talk to your officials in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the counties or in the lower level of government? The moment you say that, that's when somebody will pull your ear or somebody will slap you or somebody will punch you and tell you, this is real help. Take it. I mean, you are with the president of the country, the head of the state. Then you are looking for help from other uh, small, small people who are below the president. What's wrong with you? This is real help. Please take it. And if God, the Holy Spirit, is offering himself to help us, that God has offered to help you and to help me, listen, I'm telling you in the name of Jesus today that this is real help. Please take it. This is real help. You see, friends, it may not look real. It may not look real, but it is real. Why do I say it may not look real? It did not look real when Joseph was tied and taken to slavery in Egypt. He prayed and prayed and it seemed like there was no help from God. But the God who escorted him to Egypt was the real help. Because when he went to Egypt, God ensured that while a slave in Potiphar's house, he lived so good a life that he was the final decision maker in Potiphar's house. He tells Potiphar's wife that I am in charge of everything and I make any decision in this house except for you because you are his wife. What kind of slave is that? It is because God was with Joseph helping him. I'm telling you this is real help. It may not look like help when you are going to Egypt, but it is help. It may not look like help, but it is help. You only realize when you look back that you are being assisted. When God told Abraham, I'll give you a child, he waited and waited and he grew old and he thought that the help of God is not coming. I'm telling you, this is real help. Take it. It's real. It may not look real today. It may not have looked real yesterday, but I'm telling you in the name of Jesus that when it comes... A time when your eyes are opened, you will agree with me that this is real help and it is wisdom to take it. This is real help. And so today you may cry, today you may pray and wonder, where is God? Has he left me? Has he abandoned me? Does he still care? Listen, my brothers and sisters, this is real help. Please take it. This is real help. It may not look real, but this is it. When God says something, do it. When you have prayed and you are sure you are going that journey with God, you are on the right track. This is real help. You take it. This is real help. You take it. Because this is divine help. Because this is unstoppable help. Nothing is impossible with God and that's the kind of help you are being availed to. Can you imagine you have help that does not know the word impossible? Lazarus was a friend to Jesus and the, the sisters of Lazarus sent a message to Jesus in John chapter 11 that your friend is sick and Jesus delayed and it looked like they did not have help to deal with Lazarus situation. Lazarus died and it looked like the help they needed they no longer need. This Jesus is a useless friend. He has not helped but let me tell you even when Jesus looks useless he is the real help that you need. There are times when God looks useless. There are times when Jesus may seem like he's useless. There are times when you may think that he's not useful to you in your life. But I tell you, even when he looks useless, he is most useful to you in your life. This is real help. Please take it. This is real help. Please take it. Because after they buried Lazarus, they said, oh, in our Jewish tradition, maybe he can resurrect within the first three days. Jesus did not appear. The fourth day when they had totally given up and said nothing will happen, Jesus appears. And Martha and Mary ran to Jesus and say, if only you are here, our brother will not have died. And Jesus reminds them that I'm real help. He says, I am, I am the resurrection and the life. 
when God offers help, even when it comes late, it can re reverse the entire situation. Lazarus resurrected because this is real help. This is real help. Jesus is going to Jairus' house to heal the daughter who is 12 years old and very sick. Then a woman appears and stops Jesus because Jesus has just healed her of an issue of flowing blood for 12 years. And during that delay, Jairus' daughter dies. And people come to Jairus and say, Jairus, your daughter has died. Please don't trouble Jesus. Listen, my friends. Jesus turns to Jairus and says, take heart. This is real help. The situation may get at its worst. The worst may happen. The business may collapse. The house may burn. The relationship may break. The person may die. But when you are with God, I pronounce to you in the name of Jesus that this is real help. Take it. This is real help. Don't ignore it. This is real help. Nothing is impossible with God. The Holy Spirit is the real help that we need to take in life. And that's why Jesus told the disciples in Acts chapter 1, verse 4 and verse 8, that they must wait in Jerusalem until they receive the Holy Spirit, for that is the power they will need to evangelize the world. This is the real help. The Holy Spirit, my friends, is God. When you read the Bible, the, the, the Bible talks of the Holy Spirit in Luke chapter 1 verse 5 as all powerful. Only God can be all powerful and yet he is available to you and me. The Holy Spirit talks of the Holy, the, the Bible talks of the Holy Spirit as eternal in Hebrews chapter 9 verse 14. Only God can be eternal and the Bible says the Holy Spirit is eternal. Brothers and sisters, this is real help. Eternal. The Bible says that the Holy Spirit is everywhere. Psalm 139, verse 7 to 12. The Bible says the Holy Spirit knows all things. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 10 and 11. Listen, the Holy Spirit is God. And God has availed himself to help you any time in your life. You may not understand how he operates, but just link up with God. He may delay, he may take long, he may take you through a path you never expected. But when you are with God, you are with the real help. Don't panic. Don't look back. Don't backslide. God will help you. This is real help. Take it. The Holy Spirit is not just a power, a force out there. He can relate with us. He's a personality. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 10 and 11, that the Holy Spirit knows... The Bible says in Romans chapter 15 verse 30, 15 verse 30 of Romans, that the Holy Spirit loves. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 4 verse 30, that the Holy Spirit can be grieved. The Bible says in Romans chapter 8 verse 16, that the Holy Spirit witnesses. Listen, my friends, the Holy Spirit wants a personal relationship with you. This is real help. Please take it, my friends. The work of the Holy Spirit in John chapter 16 verse 8 is to convict us of sin. And then he, he brings the love of God in our hearts. Romans chapter 5 verse 5. He brings new birth in John chapter 3 verse 3 to 8. Without the Holy Spirit you cannot be born again. He guides us into all truth. Leave alone the truth you are born knowing. Leave alone the truth you hear on TV and hear people talk about. The Holy Spirit will guide you to all truth. John chapter 16 verse 13. And the Holy Spirit gives us power. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. Verse 8. Listen my brothers and sisters, this is real help. Whether your issues are of what nature spiritually, this is real help. You can't be haunted by demons when you have the Holy Spirit. You can't be troubled by witches and witch doctors when you have the Holy Spirit. Your health issues are taken care of. Your financial issues are taken care of. Your social issues are taken care of. This is real help. Trust God and he will guide you. You may not understand the path he is taking, but it is the right path. This is real help. Please take it. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we pray for this help. And we take it today in the name of Jesus. Give us this help. We accept this help. We may not understand the road. We may not understand the direction. But we accept this help. May this help be available to us today. In Jesus' name. Amen. This is real help. Please take it.